Hi, I'm Sarai Ferreira and welcome to Story ST episode number 48. Before starting a brand new series, in this next episode I'm going to be answering some questions. Today's question is, what is the future of communication strategies? Welcome to Story ST, helping you use storytelling in your communication strategy. Explore other resources at storysd.com. And now, here is your host, Dr. Soraya Ferreira, Story Strategy Consultant and Trainer. In October last year, I got an invitation to host a Ask Me Anything event. In the beginning, I didn't know what this was. But then, I realized that the Ask Me Anything is a knowledge platform. And this means that if you have an expertise, you can host an event and then the members will ask you questions regarding your expertise. I wasn't going to do this immediately because I was really busy with the classes at the university. But then, after a lot of persuasion by the Ask Me Anything representative, I did it and it was a wonderful experience. I got a lot of people RSVPing to the event and also a lot of amazing questions. We are already almost reaching the first anniversary of Story SD and I was trying to come up with ideas on how to celebrate it. Of course, you are the one of the responsibles for this project existing, so I thought it would be good to go back to the Ask Soraya questions and that's what I will be doing in the next episodes. So, the question that I'm going to answer today is in what direction can you see future marketing and communication strategies developed in the future? Of course, I cannot speak about all of the strategies, but I will speak about the one that I believe it will play an important role in the future, which is to use the transmedia storytelling techniques in your communication strategy. So what is transmedia storytelling? It means that you have three pillars that are equally important. So the first one, if you think as, uh, of it as a triangle, you have the story. So you have your story brand and you have your story universe. Then on the other side, you have your platforms through which you communicate your message. And then on the last side, you have the audience. So you need to think about these three pillars always connect it and they always have to be coherent. Standing on the shoulder of giants. The recommended resource for this episode is the Business of Story podcast by Park Howell. It was one of the first podcasts that I pitch listened to and Park does an amazing job interviewing uh, different people weekly that talk about all the different shapes and forms of storytelling. It's amazing to find this community that they all share the same love for storytelling as I do. And I'm sure that if you listen to some of the episodes, you will learn a lot. On the next episode, I will be talking about why does storytelling improve your communication skills? Until then, keep moving forward. Thank you for tuning into Story SD. Sign up to the newsletter today and be the first to receive updates at storysd.com.